finally. Okay. Right, let me clear this mess off the desk. This freaking mess. These, this is, that's no good no more. Okay. This, oh, last one. There, this, don't need that part. Here, this, that, this. Oh, there's one. Okay. I'll hold it. Okay. Now, get those out of the way. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning, Miss Janie. Hello, Arlene. Mari. Good afternoon, Miss Francis. Hi, Candy. Hello, Adria. Hello, Christine. How we doing? How's everybody doing today? I'm gonna blow up YouTube. I'm serious. Can I blow it up with you? Yes, you can come with me. Oh my God. I uploaded like seven videos yesterday. It usually takes me like two to three hours. It took me all day. Every time I turned around, it was giving me an error code. It was just aggravating. Let's see. Janie is blah. Mari's doing good. Yeah. Yes, dunk tube, I'm telling you. Oh my God. I would I would load up a video, upload a video. And I've already edited the video. I've already gone through the sound. Everything is good. I just need to upload it so that I can put it in their generator so that I can go in and, you know, put in all the things that you guys see, like the the information at the bottom and uh, the thumb, create the thumbnail and uh, if there's going to be like a, a card or the end screens, all of that stuff has to be done in YouTube. And I would put the video in and it's only like a 10, 12 minute video because it's a beginner's project. And it would go, it would, it would sit there and it would be like loading for like 30 minutes. And I'd be like, what the hell? And then it would queue up an error that said that the upload was interrupted. Please click to restart the upload. So I would re I'd restart the upload and it would just spin. I was like, son of a... So then I'd have to delete the whole thing and start over and it would load like that. Or it would take three or four more times. Hello, Chris. Ah. Oh. And then you just get to the point where you just want to shoot something. Yes, it decided to irritate the living crap out of me yesterday. So it took me, like, I was, I worked until one o'clock this morning. So I did my live yesterday morning to do the work on the book cover. As soon as I got off that, I started working on uploading videos. I did that until we went live last night. And then when we got off the live, I worked until one o'clock in the morning. If you're thinking about getting a YouTube channel, don't do it. Oh, my God. Ugh. You might, if you're thinking about getting a YouTube channel, 
you may want to analyze whether or not you have, you know, 487,000 extra hours in a week. All right, I'll be right back. I'm trying to rattle Amy's cage. She wants to get out. And I got her, I went in an hour ago and woke her up. She's still dead asleep. Same position too. Exact same position. <laughs> uh. Carla! Hi, Carla. So, I'll explain the process quickly. <laughs> uh, so I come up with, we'll use this. I come up with a project. Okay. So the first thing I have to do is I have to make a prototype of the project. Usually pretty decked out so that I can go, this is what we're going to do today. And I have to film. Once I make the project, then I have, I film a segment going, this is what we're going to do today. It's a little pocket. It's got a little label on it. Look, it's got a little tag. Oh, there's even this extra little tag that you could put in here. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I tell you about it. Then I stop filming. Then I come back and I have all the supplies. This is what we're going to need. We're going to need a die cutting machine. We're going to need this. We're going to need that. We're going to need this. We're going to need that. Um, and I'm going to clear the desk. And when I come back, We'll go ahead and get started cutting. Well, then what you guys don't see is there's a piece of paper that's right up here that has all the measurements that I took from the prototype. So then I, I cut all the pieces. Then I have to get that out of the way so that we can start assembly. So that's another set of videos. So when I'm done, I usually have somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight to 10 chunks of the video. And then I have to go in and sometimes if I'm doing it and I screw something up, I'll just pause for a few seconds and then I'll keep going and do the correct thing. So I may have to upload that segment to my editor three or four times to get through it. So it's about for every project, it's probably about three hours of three hours of filming then it takes about an hour for all of those pieces to compile and get the sound into, you know. And if there's an issue with a project, Harry jumps up here and spills glue on something. Now I have to start all over again because I may not have any more of the paper that I was using. So sometimes I have to start from scratch and I'll end up with 15 to 20 pieces of film. And then I have to put it into an editor wait for everything to compile, get the voice and everything together. Sometimes it doesn't record audio. Sometimes the audio is like I'm whispering. Sometimes it's like I'm shouting. Uh, so I have to go in there and I have to use, you know, I have to pull back on, on the gain and everything or add gain to it uh, to try and get it as a cohesive piece. <laughs> and then once I get that done, then I have to wait for it to convert from uh, my editor's file to an MP4 because all of a sudden YouTube won't take my editor. It used to, but now it doesn't. So now I have to convert the file, which takes about 40 minutes to an hour depending on how long the, vi the video is. And then once that's done, then I can upload it to YouTube. And that takes another 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and then once it's uploaded and it 
processes through YouTube, which takes another 30 minutes or so, um, then I can go in back behind and I can actually um, put in the chapters. So where all those breaks are, if you look in the, in, in one of my videos, if you look at the bottom of it, in the description box below, at the very bottom, there's a chapter list. So I put in the chapters to make it easier for you guys to be able to go, oh, I want to see how she did the, the scoring on this. You can click on that link and go straight to the scoring in the video. Um, I have to put in all the keywords for searching. I have to go in and put those end screens on that say, you know, hey, subscribe, go check out this one, check that video. Uh, I have to put in the cards that pop up at the top of the screen from time to time. I'll have to put those in. Uh, I have to alter the title so that the title is in the search words. And then I have to go in and put all the measurements in the description as well. So when it's all said and done, each video takes approximately... 12 to 14 hours to produce 35 minutes of film. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so. Yeah, it is hilarious. I know because when I put those chapters in, I got to be honest with you. When I put those chapters in, I actually have to watch the video so that I can stop it at the appropriate times. I watch myself in double speed. <laughs> I do. Oh. But, you know, it gets, it makes sure that you guys have a new video every week. And I have to tell you, I did a lot of editing yesterday, did a lot of uploading yesterday, and there's going to be a lot of bonus videos in the next couple of months. Uh, she's upright. She's not awake, but she's upright. And she's dying of thirst. Hi, honey. Sea wave. Her not awake yet. You got her nana bread? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. We got 11 people in the room. Yeah, that doesn't count all of that either. Uh, Everybody is saying very quietly, hi, Amy. Morning. She says, morning. <laughs> oh, so yeah. And then on top of it, there's planning. So, and I try to film all in one day, all my videos, like get it all filmed and then spend like two or three days doing all of the editing and then two days doing all of the uploading. So um, and in between that, I have to come up with projects. Um, we're getting ready to do a new, uh, a free class. I have a free class video coming up. And um, so it's it's got a lot of parts, a lot of components. <laughs> Arlene's trying to help you wake up. She's shouting, hi, Amy, good morning. And then she goes, did that help her wake up? Yes, definitely. Awesome. <laughs> um, Amy has no sense of humor when she wakes up. That was sarcastic. That's her sense of humor, sarcasm. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go drink some Carla says, Happy Easter, Your Holiness. Your Highness, thank you very much. <laughs> She says, it's your, it's your hininess. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, then I got to come up with all the ideas and I put those in those white folders, but we have a, a free class that's coming out. And unfortunately, the way that it had to work out, there's a lot of three eighths and five eighths and seven eighths in it. A lot of people don't want to cut that stuff. So on top of everything else, I have to do a kit and put a kit in the shop. So if people want to make the project, they can make the project without having to do all the cutting <laughs> and the measuring. It's the measuring. It's the measuring that gets people. Good morning, Michelle. All right. 
Let's do this. Here comes the rules. Uh, the rules of the feud. Anyone can play. All answers must be given prior to the stop. Answers after the stop will not be counted. I will give you a five, four, three, two, one. When my finger leaves the screen, I'll hit the stop. I'm going to be watching live on YouTube just like you. Um, answers will be scored based on ranking. So if they're, you know, the top answer gets five points, yada, 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 all the way down. It's more than five answers on the card. Anything from the fifth answer down gets a point, okay? Each player is their own team. No Googling is allowed. If you Google the question and you get some other weird answer, I don't care. It's what's on my card, okay? Um, weekly prizes as well as monthly prizes will be awarded in the events of ties. The ties are resolved by number draws, however many players there are. Uh, I put it into the randomizer and whichever one comes up dead on first is the winner. Um, you must be subscribed to my channel. Have no outstanding unpaid orders. Provide me with some shipping information. And this game is open to everyone. However, if you live outside of the continental United States, I will send you a digital if you win. Okay? Adulting juice. Oh, I call it vomit and puke. Wah. All right, so this is the last Sunday of the month, which means what? Yes, we're going to give away two prizes today. Oh, look, the other one is awake and grumbling. Did you just spit on yourself? No, a raspberry juice. No, I think you drooled. I may have. On the front of your robe. Nope. Okay. 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 See what I put up with? Neither one of them is a morning person. I'm a morning person, a night person, an afternoon person. I don't care. I'm kind of me all the time. And uh, yeah. So when I travel with these two, holy crap. All right. She's just waking up. She's crampy too. I'm like, oh, look, she's awake. She's all. Pfft. That's what I get. All right, number one question. Here we go. Name something you can put in an any belly button, but you can't put in an Audi. Name something that you can put in an any belly button, but you can't put it in an Audi. An Audi. Sorry, I had to mute that. Okay. Name something you can put in an any belly button, but you can't put it in an outie. Shots. Shots. All righty, last time. Name something you can put in an any belly button that you can't put in an Audi. In five, A penny. four, three, two, one. Work with me, YouTube. Here we go. Alrighty. Number one. 
Lint or fuzz, number two, a coin or a penny. Number three, jewelry or a piercing. Number four is a finger. Number five is food, whipped cream, alcohol, or a marble. I was at least five minutes. So up to the top, Miss Adria got in first today. And she said lint. Five points. Miss Candy, five points, my dear. Chris. Chris said the finger. Two points for the finger. Christine. Christine said, jewels. Three. Michelle. Michelle said, coins. Four. Janie. Who is yelling at me already this morning? Lint. Five points for Miss Janie. Arlene. She said a tongue. I'm giving her a damn point anyway. Um, Mari. Mari said a Band-Aid. I'm sorry. That doesn't even come close. Miss Francis. Hold on. Y'all are going so fast. No, Billy Bones are important. Francis. Ms. Francis said lint five points. Carla said shot glass. And that is alcohol. It is a point. Oh, Mima's here. Yeah, you only missed one. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> All righty. We're going to put you right there, Patty Ann. Right, All right. Turn it down. No one wants to hear Lego Batman while she was doing her thing. Thank you. Birds do it. Bees do it. But name an animal that makes you wonder how they could possibly do it. Oh, Lind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Adrian. Birds do it, bees do it, but name an animal that makes you wonder how they could possibly do it. I have some questions about humans, okay? <laughs> All right, let me take my breakfast here. I meant to take my pill last night for my head and I forgot. So now I'm awake and I have a headache again. Same headache. Just a different day. Okay. 10.30 or so I'm taking these. Hey, Joe. Birds do it. Bees do it. But name an animal that makes you wonder how they could possibly do it. In five, four, three... Two, one. And that's the end. Number one answer. An elephant. Number two, a porcupine. Number three is a turtle. Number four is a snake. And a number five is a whale or fly.
So let's go up to the top. I'm getting there. Carla said, earthworms, earthworms are not on the list, but thanks for playing. Uh, besides, I think those are... Uh, I think earthworms are asexual. Asexual, yeah. Yes. Porcupine. 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 I love that word. Porcupine. Porker in the pine. Chris said porcupine. That's for. I got all these C's in a row here. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, Candy said an armadillo. I'm sorry, Candy. That is a fantastic answer. But. No. Pork pine, says Miss Amy. Four points. Arlene, five points, my dear. Five points for Arlene. For the elephant. Adria, horse. Sorry, darling. I have to tell you, though, I've seen horses do it. It is scary. <laughs> Michelle, she said worms. Again, zero. I sorry. This one got everybody. Uh, Mari said snakes. Snakes don't have sex, Mari. Sandra said porcupine. Four points. Uh, let's see. Joe. Joe said porcupine. Four points. Patty Ann said elephants. Five points. Francis, four points. Christine. She said turtles. Don't think so. Turtles, zero. Okay, is that everybody? Let's take a look. Make sure nobody snuck in. Yeah, they never get any, right? All right, next question. Oh, my God. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Oh, my God. Ready? We asked 100 women to fill in the blank. When it comes to men, short is okay as long as he's blank. Happy Easter, honey. Hmm. <laughs> We asked 100 women to fill in the blank. When it comes to men, short is okay as long as he's blank. Oh, my God. And that's for you to decide, Adria. <laughs> All right. We asked 100 women to fill in the blank. When it comes to men, short is okay as long as he's blank. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, no more answers. Number one answer. Wrong card. Number one answer, good in bed or nine inches? 
Number two, rich. Number three, he's funny. Number four, he's a sweetie. Number five, he's either a hunk or thin. There are three very materialistic, very vain women here out of this 100. <laughs> okay, we're going up to the top. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Jamie said hung. That's right. Five points for Miss Jamie. Five points. Uh, let's see. What else? Christine said rich. That's four. Sandra, Francis. Five. Uh, Joe, four points, my dear. Four points for Joe. Chris, four points. Adria, four points. Has hair on his head, Jennifer says. Oh, Miss Jennifer. Yes, you were. Sorry, honey. Uh, Mari, Rich. Arlene, good to me. That's going to be under the sweetie. Two points. Kind, sweetie. Candy, two points. Handsome, one point for Miss Michelle. Patty Ann said rich. Four points. The only one I'm missing is Carly there, Rich. Four. Okay. All right. There are only four answers on this card. I'm going to tell you that they're all boys' names. Okay? Let's make that easier. It's all boys. Uh, number one was uh, good and bad or well hung. Give me a person's first name that rhymes with hickey. These are all boys' names. A person's name, first name that rhymes with hickey. Hickey, hickey, H-I-C-K-E-Y. You know those little red marks that you get on your neck that your mom slaps you in the back of the head for? Hickeys. All righty. Give me a person's first name that rhymes with hickey in five. Four, three, two, one. All righty, four answers on the card. Number one answer was Mickey. Really? I'll take Mikey as well. Mickey or Mikey. Uh, Ricky, Dicky, and Nikki. So let's go up to the top. Christine said Nikki. Two points for Miss Christine. Sandra said Dickie. Three points. Mari. Five points. If I can find you, there you are. Arlene said Ricky, four. Chris, four. Uh, 
Jamie, five. Joe, four. Carla, four, 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 four. Where's Carla? Adria, Dickie, three. Michelle, three. Candy, Patty Ann, four. Four for Miss Francis. And Jennifer. Did not get an answer in. Okay. She's batting a thousand today. Oh my God. What? I didn't do it. Next question. I didn't do anything. Name something a doctor. In a nudist colony, treats a lot of patients for. Uh, Name something a doctor in a nudist colony treats a lot of patients for. Going to hell. Name something the doctor in a nudist colony treats a lot of patients for. In five, four, three, two, one. Number one answer, sunburn. Number two, some kind of rash or poison ivy. Number three, an STD. Number four, bug bites. And number five, cuts, bruises, and splinters. So let's go to the top. Adria, Mari, Carla, Chris. Five points. Joe, three points. Mm -hmm. Jamie, five points. Adria, Arlene, butt splinters. Okay. That is a point, my dear. Candy, five points. Sandra, five points. Christine, five points. Francis, five points. Michelle, a point. And Patty Ann gets five points. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if you're doing it right, you carry a beach towel or something, a hand towel, something to sit on. Next question. We asked 100 men. Christine, please clarify if you're okay. People are worried about you. I don't know. Oh, it was the cat. Okay. Uh <laughs> We asked 100 men, name a sport you shouldn't play naked or you could hit the wrong ball. <laughs> we asked 100 men, name a sport you shouldn't play naked or you could hit the wrong ball. <laughs> we asked a hundred men. Name a sport you shouldn't play naked or you could hit the wrong ball. In five, four, three, a two, a one. You need to go outside, kid. I just want to say that for some of these answers, the act of doing it, you have to know you're doing. You know what I mean? All right. <coughs> Number one answer, baseball. Number two, football. Number three, soccer. Number four is golf. Really? And number five, tennis or volleyball. Now, I just want you to think. Get a picture in your mind of a naked man playing any one of these sports and how ridiculous he looks hitting the wrong ball. Uh, yeah. Short underwear for keep that out of the way. What is she doing with that golf club? Definitely not looking at the right ball. <laughs> How is he holding the bat? Think about those for a second. Holy crap. All right. Sandra said tennis. That's a point. Patty Ann said soccer. Three points for Miss Patty Ann. Basketball. Candy says tennis. 
That's a point. Uh, Jamie says soccer. Three. Christine said pickleball. I'm sorry, Christine, but these questions are a little bit older than pickleball. They're from 2022. And I don't think any of the young hip kids were playing pickleball. I play pickleball. Uh, tennis says Joe. That's a point. I haven't figured out pickleball yet. But I got to tell you, there are dozens of pickleball specialty equipment shops showing up. Pickleball boutiques all over Summerlin. Mari, Adria, both get five points. Come and explain pickleball to me, son. So pickleball is the replacement practically of tennis, but instead of a table, it's just a floor, and you have to hit it to diagonally from the square that you're in and then two areas in front of the net are called the kitchen and you can't step to that. Okay. And your goal is to not make the ball go on your side. Okay. No idea. All right, looking for answer from Arlene. It's the only one I don't see. Hold on. Yeah, let's roll. Arlene said ping pong. That's what I thought. Um, that's table tennis. It still gets a point. Yes, Chris, I got you. Sorry, I was listening to the voice. I didn't read them out. My bad. Four answers on this card. We asked 100 married men. Name a part of your wife's body you like to sleep on. <laughs> we asked 100 married men. Name a part of your wife's body you like to sleep on. Boy. <laughs> I love you, stick pot. Hi, Hi, everyone. We asked 100 married men, name a part of your wife's body you like to sleep on. In five, four, three, two, one. Remember, there's only four answers on this card.
Number one, her dairy pillows. Number two, her belly. Number three, her lap or thighs. And number four, her shoulder. Those two guys are boring. Okay. All right. Let's go to the top. Chris, Arlene, Sandra, five points. Mari. Four points for Miss Mari. Ah, let's see. Adria, Joe, and Carla. Five points. All right, let me... I need to refresh because I got no more answers. Okay, here we go. Uh, Candy said... Let I spool up. Five for boobies. Christine, five. Michelle, five. Jenny. Titty boobs. Yes, five points. Miss Francis, dip boobs. And Miss Patty Ann said, the boobs. Yeah, they start that when they're babies and they just keep on going. See, I was thinking my wife's body pillow. <laughs> and by that, he means my body. <laughs> Your body pillow. Because if I yeah, I get thrown off after like five minutes because I'm too hot. You know, your body pillow doesn't complain. <laughs> We ask 100 men to fill in the blank. Oh no, I have a really hot day tonight. I don't have blank. We asked 100 men to fill in this blank. Oh no, I have a really hot day tonight and I don't have blank. Okay, here we go. After 100 men to fill in the blank. Oh no, I have a really hot day tonight and I don't have blank. In five, four, three, two, one. Number one answer, cash or wallet. Number two, a banana bandana. Number three, some duds, specifically some leather pants. Somebody there. Uh, number four is a car. Number five, Viagra. Mike, you got to stop over there making candy blush. Uh-huh. Christine said, I don't have anything to wear. That's three points, Miss Christine. Three points. 
Men don't really worry about that, though. It, they'll take something out of the hamper or shake it out. If it smells quasi-okay, it's all right. No. No. <laughs> Adria, Jamie, money, 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 five points. Miss Michelle, she says some clean clothes. Three points. Uh, see, Sandra's thinking our age, but it only gets her a point. Some Viagra. He needs a little blue pill, some magic helpers, some friendly uplifting. Here we go. Oh, Carla said some condom. She said a banana, banana. Carla, Carla, Carla. Four. Knock it off. Arlene, three. Candy, five points, my dear, five points. Chris, five points. Mari, four points. Francis, four points. Hmm. Joe, three points, my dear. I'm looking for... Patty and we're going to do the whole refresh thing. Yeah. Does anybody see Patty Ann's answer? I do not. Yes. Yeah, it's probably with the baby. We're going to give her a point. Because I can. Besides, I think she would have at least gotten Viagra, right? <laughs> Next one. New, choir, new card. Thank you. Oh, wow. Name something you'd do if your grandparents started making out at a family reunion. Name something you'd do if your grandparents started making out at a family reunion. I want to get Harry one of those strollers, but I think he'd figure out how to get out of it. Yeah. Is Harry Houdini after all? Name something you'd do if your grandparents started making out at a family reunion. Yeah, hi, baby. Yeah, we're talking about you. I'm going to build him a new uh, kitty condo outside. I love Adrian. Look away! Look away! All right, need something you'd do if your grandparents started making out at the family reunion. Into five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold on. Honey, come here, come here. Wait. What are you looking for? Bug. What? Bug. Close the door. <laughs> okay. Of course, all we got to see was the back of my head, but you know. Look, if your grandparents are still in love and they're grandparents, you know what I mean? Damn, you got some hope. <laughs> okay, here we go. Faith in humanity restored. 
All right. So name something you do if your grandparents started making out a family reunion. Number one is to laugh or smile. Number two, leave the room, run. Number three, get a picture, video, or Facebook that crap. Uh, number four, clap or cheer. Number five, get a room. Gag, puke, or cover your eyes and look away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Candy said cheer. That's two. A Arlene is two. Jamie, one, my dear. Sandra says she would leave. That's four. Michelle. Five for laughing. Arlene. Arlene says, go, go. That's two. <laughs> go, Granny. Go, Granny. <laughs> oh, I'm being a smart ass. Okay. Chris, applaud. Chris, that will get you two points. Christine says, leave the room. Four. Four for being respectful. Joe, four for you too. You can stand outside with Christine. Um, <laughs> Mari, clap. Two points, Mari. Adria, I'm sorry, darling. Look away is not a good one. Carla, you would talk shit about your granny? That's bad. Uh, uh, it was worth the zero, though, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, two for Miss Francis. Did we get Patty Ann back yet? <laughs> nope, but that's okay. We got her now. All right. Patty Ann, we're still giving you a point, okay? Because we're giving, these are babies points. You get baby points. Benny the Bunkins. <laughs> oh, Patty Ann. Save that picture when he gets married. <laughs> okay, here we go. Name something your dog can hear you do when he's trying to sleep. Name something your dog can hear you do when he's trying to sleep. He's always trying to sleep, right? Name something that your dog can hear you do when he's trying to sleep. Leave that boy alone. I am waiting for work. Honey, I've got that many tickets for the entire day. Oh, shit. Well, it's Easter. All right, here we go. Name something your dog can hear you do when he's trying to sleep. In five. Let the, 
when he's pretending to sleep. Five, four, three, two, one. Number one answer, eat or get some kind of food. Number two, you're doing the nasty, you're bumping uglies, the mattress mambo. Number three, uh, you are snoring. You are trying to sleep. Uh, <laughs> number four, you are watching TV. And number five, you're talking or arguing with somebody you're trying to go to the bathroom and you are a captive audience or you get up to walk around because they're going to get underneath your feet. So let's go ahead up to the top. Let's see what we have. Arlene said, you bump and uglies. That's four. Christine says you're whistling. We're going to call that uh, snoring. Because I whistle when I snore. Oh. Sandra says you're making out. Four points for Sash for the bump and the uglies. Michelle, five points. Carla, five points. Mari, five points. Janie. Three points for Miss Janie. For the whistle. Joe, five points. <laughs> Francis. Five points. We know what it is. Chris, five points. It's food. <laughs> All right, let's see. Five points for Adria. Candy, 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 five points. What? Should I? What? Apple. What? Apple. Whatever you want. And four points for Miss Patty Ann. That's it. We're done today. Honey, if it's going to kill your stats, then don't take the day off. No, 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 no. Working is going to kill my stats. Oh. <laughs> There's no tickets to work. And that's my idea. Yeah, take the day off. <laughs> take yourself a half day there, babe. <laughs> Ghost town after five o'clock. Are you kidding? Yes, if you want, um, I'm going to do the thing here. Wait, hold on. Joe, I'm going to put you in real quick as a mod. Could you put in your link for us? Doo -doo -doo. And that way, uh, everybody can go check it out. Joe does this um, 90 ball bingo where you get to pick your own numbers. And uh, it's kind of cool. And there's no uh, prizes or anything that I'm aware of, but... It is fun, and there's a lot of people in there, and it, it goes pretty quick. So if you have nothing to do and you're just kind of burning some time, go check out Joe over at Have At It and um, play. Yeah, he's got no tickets today. There's nothing going on in the queue. This, this, that, that, that. <laughs> so there is the link for Miss Joe's channel. <laughs> it's a nice day. She's going to be out at 6 o'clock tonight. That's 6 o'clock her time, which I think is standard. Uh, central? All right. 
So let's add up some scores and give away some prizes, shall we? Adria, you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 34, 37. Wow. Right off the bat. Candy, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, uh, 30, 34. Y'all came to play today. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 39. Dang, Chris, Christine, 5, 10, 15, 19, 22, 26, 29. Michelle, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23, 26, 27. Janie, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 41. Damn. Arlene, 5, 10, 13, 17, 18, 19. Did I do that right? 10, 12, 13, 14, 19. Yes. 25, 28. Next up is Miss Mari, 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, 25, 34. And Miss Francis, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 42. Carla, 5, 10, 15, 20, 28, 32, 33. Patty Ann gets 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, wait, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32. Sash, her, can't, her score doesn't count, but we're going to do it anyway. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 32. And Joe got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 32. Today's winner is Francis. Yay. No, you did good. We need more. Okay. I have to unbury the thing, though. If you like, there's gloves over on my head. Are you going home today or are you playing? Uh, uh. Knock it off, thank you. Knock it off. Outside. All right, I got prizes. Outside. Let me get this stuff off my desk. Hold on. I'm working on video, so I got everything under the sun over here. <laughs> no, don't don't fall. If your pieces fall out, I'll lose it, and then I'm gonna do the whole thing over. Don't do that to me. Okay. Sorry. All right, Miss Francis. Miss Francis, I'm going to send you this uh, set of large cards. Miss Francis. These are the larger Project Life cards. They're not the biggest, though. Um, I didn't know they had them this big, but look. Hold on. I'll pull them out. I got some right here. Somebody sent me some. These are the biggest Project Life cards. Right? <laughs> Those are the big ones. Okay, Miss Francis. I'm going to have to remember to put this stuff out this month when we do the sale because I got a whole bunch over there. All right. So, where's the thing? I got to find the thing, the thing, the thing, the thing, 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 no craft lunch. No craft lunch. All right. Here we go. Let me... By the way, I have videos through um, the first week of November. Amy says I have to stop in 2025. Uh -huh. 
All right. Got to get out the little calculator here. Go. On. So there were five weeks in this month. So it's going to take a minute to get these all done, okay? Um, I don't know. Probably not. I got a lot of uh, other work to do, Michelle. All right, Miss Janie. Uh, looks like he's going to be picking me up today. Okay. Maybe as long as I can get finished today. I don't know. 142. Holy crap. We, we'd have been doing that yesterday if it wasn't been raining in the video. Yeah. Arlene. Huh? Well, let's get you outside anyway. Huh? If it starts to rain again, you're old. Sounds like you have to fight this wing. I do like to do Sixty-five. Kennedy. Kennedy only played one week, so she doesn't get on the list. Next, Miss Candy. Thirty-three. Twenty seven, twenty nine, and thirty four, one twenty three. All right, let's see who's next. Adria, thirty one, thirty seven. Twenty five and thirty seven. One thirty. Miss Francis. Thirty six. Thirty-eight, forty-five, and forty-two, one sixty-one. <clears throat> Carla, thirty-four, thirty-eight. 37, 37, she's consistent, 33, 179, Patty Ann, 33, 139, Thirty-eight, thirty-two, one forty. This one doesn't count, but we're going to do it anyway. This is Sash, twenty-six, thirty-five. 37, 32, 130. All right, now for Miss Mari. 29, 
26, 28, 27, and 34. 144. All right, let's see. That's everybody on that one. Let's make sure we didn't miss anybody here. Christine, Murray, Adrian, Jenny, Carla. They're all there. Candy's good. Petty and Janie. Christine, Nina, Zoe, Carla, Adrian, Francis, Mari. That's everybody. Okay, that's everything. It's everybody for the month. So, our top winner is Carla. And you, darling, are getting this, which is some clear labels from Carpe Diem. Um, there's one, two, three, four sheets in here. Two of each design. Uh, one is like a to-do and the other one is like a family house thing, so... But they words, you know, words. We like words. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do these. Uh, I'm going to mail these out with this month's sale. Because the bin's full. See, I keep this little bin where I put them all in. And the bin is full. Full, full, I tell you. Full, 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 full. I have stuff in here for Adria and Zoe and Patty Ann and Mari and just, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So that's going to have to go with this month's sale. All right. Let me get rid of this and get that. Do this. And this goes on here. Night, Arlene. Get a good nap, honey. Let me put my little calculator away. All right, now let's talk about what's going on in the world, shall we? Okay. Let me get that out of the way. All right, here we are. April. Tomorrow. The video tomorrow is um, that Heidi Swap dupe that I did. It's not great, but it's a thing. Um, and then Thursday, I'm doing the glue comparison video. Um, next Sunday is my sale. So not sure how I'm going to work it out, but... I may just do, um, I may just do the family feud and then go straight into my sale. Like shut the stream down, get my stuff together, give myself like 30 minutes and come back. Okay. Then we're going to do some paint chip tags. And on the 11th, I'm going to be doing that. I'm posting that video for the pocket letter, uh, for those that requested that also on the 20th of this of April. We're going to be doing uh, the free class. It's a video. Hold on. I'm finishing up posting the video now. Um, it's this cute little folio. Um, very thin. No, no bulk at all on this. Um, and I am going to be doing this as a kit and I'll have the kit available uh, probably in the sale, but I'll definitely have it in the shop. Okay. Um, 
and you're going to get like all the pieces and parts, just like my regular kits. It'll be all the pieces and parts. Everything will be like pretty much pre-cut for you or pre-scored. Um, you're going to get all the pieces that you need, including, <laughs> including the vintage newspaper. Okay. Yeah. The sale is next Sunday. After the feud. Exactly. Okay. So we got a lot of that stuff going on. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of um, extra videos coming up. So you've got one, two, three extra videos in April. There's one, two extra videos in May. So there's going to be quite a few. Um, and like I said, I'm into the first week of November as far as videos. Um, so I'm kind of backing some of them. Also, I'm starting that new uh, I've got three or four videos already in uh, that'll be coming out and it's that new beginners projects where I'm doing a bunch of beginners projects um, I'm still trying to figure out when I'm going to fit in doing the sample book because uh, I may have to do it as a separate video you know like I do a live and go back and pick projects um, also don't forget please ladies vote in the Facebook group for the next video, the next journal. Uh, right now, sewing is in the lead to do a sewing journal. Um, so I've gotten, you know, started prepping for that uh, just in case because we're going to start on Wednesday. Uh, if you are behind in the 52 card challenge, you know, for this year, don't worry about it. Just make up the ones that you've missed. It's no big deal. Um, I just ask that you don't post ahead. You know what I mean? Like you can post previous ones that you may have missed, but please don't post ahead. This week, uh, our topic is fairies. We're in week 14. Uh, fairies is the topic. So Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a fairies card. Um, so we got a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of, you know, things, uh, we've started, we've got murder Mondays co going on. Um, the Saturday night crazy ladies thing is becoming kind of a regular thing. Um, at least try to fit that in at least once, once a month, maybe twice a month. Um, it's just difficult because Carla comes on with us, but she's two hours ahead of us. So if we come on at six, it's eight o'clock her time. So, you know, we're pushing. So we do that on Saturday night so we can keep her awake. Um, Yes, Adria, you can. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I have put out a couple of really easy, simple beginner projects. Um, these are all projects that I've re that I've posted the videos for, um, and they have to get put away. Is there more under there? No, that's it. Okay. Um, and then there's some things that I recorded the video for, and then I started editing them, and I went, this is shit. Hold on. See? This sucks. Remake this. This sucks. Remake this. So, you know, there's that always happens too. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's a list. Um, it's There's a link to it in the description below, I believe, that will take you to my Google Drive where we have the list of all of the projects, you know, all the weekly themes for the challenge. Um But I think that's it. That's all I got today, guys. I got to get back to editing stuff and getting stuff posted. Um, and I got to finish working this one out. Um, and I'll have the kits probably listing them in the shop today or tomorrow. Uh, I have to go in and edit the video description because I got to make sure I get all the right cuts in there. Um, and as always, you know, because it's one of my kits, the kit's going to come pre-scored pre-cut. There might be some minor cutting that you'll have to do, but you know, I'll give you a template 
kind of thing. Um, so like for this pocket, I know everybody doesn't have an oval cutter. So I'll give you a template for this, you know, in there so that you can cut that piece. Um, and you'll get three sheets of the vintage news. Uh, here it is. Um, I've had this for a very long time and I've tried to figure out a project for it. And this one just worked really well. Um, so these are front pages from the um, LA Times. And there's just, you know, all kinds of historic stuff in here. Um, you're just going to get, you know, random pages. I'll try to keep it the same area, though. I'm not going to do like this and this. You know, you'll get, um, and I have three of these books, so... Um, so yeah, you'll get three pages of that plus all the pieces and parts, plus a little bit extra of the card, you know, of the base in case you want to do something for yourself. So that's it. <laughs> all right. So that's it. That's all I have. Listen, if you're new here and you haven't done so already hit the button, why not? You know, it doesn't hurt. Just, just slip your mouse over there and go pink. Done. Painless. Guarantee it's painless. It doesn't hurt. Unless, of course, your mouse is screwed up, in which case it might hurt your finger. But, or, you know, you have carpal tunnel. That might hurt. I don't know. Um, but it shouldn't hurt. Uh, let's see. What else? Um, check out the uh, content. The community tab here tells you what I've got going on in my digital world. And if I'm traveling, where I'm traveling, when I'm traveling, and with whom I'm traveling, go see. Um because if I'm going to be in your area, I would really love to spend some time with you. So if I'm going to be in your area, let me know and we'll meet up someplace. You know, we'll have breakfast, whatever. Not a cup of coffee. I won't do coffee. Uh, but I will do hot chocolate if it's cold. If it's not, we're not doing coffee because I don't drink cold coffee. And they really don't have anything that I want to drink. But that's besides that. Okay. So what else? Um, let's see. Uh, check out the Facebook. Facebook group. we got all kinds of stuff going on over there. I do have some um, behind, but I have some things I'm going to be posting over there as well. Until I see you again, stay well, my friends. Bye-bye. I am going to Texas. I am, I am, I am. You're going to Texas? I hate it there. I'm not bringing Buggy to Texas, but yes, I am going to Texas. I've already been to Texas. I don't want to be back.